Hey everyone, I haven't put a video out in a long time because I've been in college, but I've had this high voltage power supply that I made for a while and I wanted to show it to you guys. Right now it's mostly just a Jacob's Ladder. I could add a little bit more circuitry and a little bit more regulation and a nice enclosure and it'd be a pretty cool high voltage power supply, but it's made out of a flyback transformer. This thing was pretty hard to get, kind of hard to unsolder, kind of hard to figure out where all the wires go, but it was worth it. I made this circuit for it. It's got two high wattage resistors. It's hard to tell in the picture, but these are those like huge resistors. And, oh man, I forgot what kind of transistor this is, but it's one of those big ones, and it gets really hot. So I made my own little heat sink for it because I didn't have one laying around. And it's powered by, I think that's 6 volts in parallel. Those are just two batteries taped together, two um, LiPo batteries, I believe. And it's just, it has an outlet on it so I could plug this in and power it. So I've adjusted this knob right here so it puts out, you know, the most power. Power is probably not the right word, volts. And here's two little metal wires coming out into a Jacob's Ladder. It'll be easier to see once I turn the lights off. So I'm just going to turn it on and show it to you guys. It's like a lot of my projects, it's kind of dangerous. And I'm scared of it, but here it is. Um... It's not good leaving it on for a while, at least with the way that it's made, because this transistor gets burning hot. But it's a fun little project. One time I replaced these wires with uh, thin solder, and you know it went for a while, and then the solder just totally melted. It's really hot, there's a lot of voltage. It's got this scary, annoying sound to it. But most of all, it's pretty awesome, and it was fun. It was fun getting to know flyback transformers, and you know, experimenting, experimenting with different circuitry. Anyone can build this basically if you have the right parts. You just have to be very cautious not to touch anything because this it's plasma, so really dangerous. More dangerous than like just like a regular stun gun. This will probably hurt you more. Alright, well, I hope you guys build it.